I'm deep in a cave and I'm trying to make a 3D model. So why am I here deep in a cave right now? Well, I'm trying to make a 3D model using lasers. I'm gonna walk all the way to the back of this thing as far as I can go and then go all the way to the front and hopefully make a perfect 3D model of this beautiful man-made cave here in Northern California at a place called Shark Fin Cove. Now, I hope to see a few things. One, I hope to see the detail that this laser will actually capture on all these walls and surfaces. Oh, almost fell into the water there. And two, I'm gonna take this same laser and go out and put it on a drone. I'm gonna fly the whole area above because what I wanna do, I wanna tie the two together. I wanna get the aerial data and then the data here in the cave. So that way, we can have one 3D model and you guys can all see just how, how crazy cool this is. It's pretty cool. I made it back as far as I, as far as I want to go. We're just to this pipe and looks like, looks like I can make it all the way to the other side, but I think it's a, that's a journey for another day. I do see, I see light over there. But I think for now, I'm gonna turn around Head back up to the front and then show you guys this 3D model. And you guys can always, I'm gonna provide it for you so you can see it yourself. Click the link below and you'll be able to journey through the same journey I just went through here into the back of the cave here at Shark Fin Cove. But let's go up to the front. Let me show you just how dark it is. Pretty dark. Look at this graffiti on the wall. I bet you the laser scanner will pick all this graffiti up. Hey, I see light ahead. Awesome. Oh, we made it to the back of the cave and to the front. I'm excited to be back out here in fresh air. Uh, why don't I take a second and explain to you a little bit about this device I'm holding in my hand. All right, check this out. It's gonna be a big one. Woo! Welcome to Shark Fin Cove. That is the beauty that is Northern California, and I really, whoa. I really wanted you guys to experience this a little bit, but I also said I was gonna explain what this device is in my hand. So this is the Rock R3 Pro. It's a LiDAR scanner, and I'm using it in the SLAM configuration. And that means I'm indoors, I can go into that cave, and it's shooting out about 600 plus thousand laser pulses a second stitches those together and makes a 3D model using lasers. Now, I can also take it off of this little handheld device and put it onto the drone and fly it around where it's got a GPS and we're stitching it all together to make a 3D model. So my goal here today is to take the cave and the drone, stitch all that data together, so that way you guys can experience a little piece that is Northern California and Shark Fin Cove. I'm gonna go up to the top of the hill, put it on the drone, fly and capture the next data set. Let's go. Another thing I'm really interested to see, these cliffs behind me. What we can do in that 3D model is we can actually measure them very accurately. And if we did multiple measurements over time, multiple flights, we're gonna be able to see that coastal erosion. And here in Northern California, coastal erosion, it's a big deal. Just one more thing you can do with that 3D data. All right, we just got the R3 Pro installed on the drone, made a mission plan real quick. Now it's time to capture the Shark Fin Cove. See how it looks. Now to say the data sets didn't turn out great would be a huge underselling of it because it looks freaking awesome. Take a look at this. So here we see from above, this is the whole data set, the shark fin cove. You can see those cliffs, the caves. You can actually see that's the shark fin right there. And now if I go ahead and zoom in and flip the data set upside down, that's the cave that I walked through. 
So I aligned that cave to that aerial data set, and now we get a real three-dimensional perspective of exactly where that cave is going and where it's located in relation to the outside world. Now this is something that you never would have otherwise. You can have a real intuitive understanding and an actual measurement of where this is going. So that stormwater drain that's at the back of the tunnel here, here, let me zoom into that. So this right here, that's where I ended at. And I never would have known that I was almost directly underneath where I parked my car. Now, it just looks beautiful in general. You can actually zoom around this data set. It's all linked down below and you can play with it yourself. And I thought it was a really fun experience and a process to generate these 3D models. So I'm asking you guys, like, what else do you wanna see? Is there anything that's really cool that you wanna see 3D modeled? Uh, is there anything that like I can walk through or fly and then combine the two together? Uh, a few things that are coming up that are gonna make it even cooler is right now there's no color on that slam data. So when I was in the cave, it's just 3D data and this intensity view, which gives you like, you can see things, but it's not true RGB color. That actually is gonna be added really soon. So we're gonna be able to get full 3D RGB indoor data, outdoor data, merge it all together. So really rack your brains around that for a second and all the possibilities that this can accomplish. I have some ideas. I wanna do some really cool archeology span stuff. I wanna go travel and see ancient ruins. Like this is really exciting for me and I wanna go actually document these sites and go around the world and, and share with you the story so that way you can be there yourself. You can feel it. You can be in that 3D space. It's like having x-ray vision and looking into some of these wonders. You never would have seen this without seeing that 3D data all in relationship to each other and that whole perspective from the globe. I think it's really special and I, I hope you do too. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe, share it, and I'll see you here next time here on Indiana Drones.